Smoke it till it's stupid state, stay until it's late Sweet like chocolate cake, part just like the shit I roll off paper plates Search for sweet escape because inside I feel I'm dying slow I tell you all this What is going on my dogs? My name is Madison and I am the auction dog And today we are on a boat rescue mission And I am so stoked to be doing it, let me tell you So, I somehow stumbled into like this fantastic deal And you'll know a little bit more when we finally get there And get to take a look at the boat and everything But I am here on the island picking up my brother's truck and I'm about to go pick up a freaking 19 foot center console for like an insane deal. And we're gonna have to fix it. It hasn't ran in three years, but I think that's the point of this channel anyway. So I'm gonna hit the road right now. I'm gonna check back into you got with you guys. When I finally do get there and we'll look it all over, I'm really, really, really stoked to be doing this right now. All right, so we're loaded up here. We're out of here. It's like seven o'clock, sun setting, 19 foot pro line, picking it up. It needs work. Look, she's barnacly, a little dirty, but she's in good shape, dude. Got a motor, got a 125 Merc on there. We're pulling it out of here. And uh, I'm super stoked, man. And the guys who ended up selling this to me are just such really nice people. They really are. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing out of here. We gotta, we gotta get on the road, it's getting dark. And when I do find a place to park, we will look this boat over and kind of just show you what we're doing here. But dude, 19 foot pro line, everything, it needs a lot of work. It ain't perfect, but brother, I'm looking so forward to this. We're going to have so much fun this summer. We're going to have so much fun this summer, dude. I'm I'm telling you, I'm super pumped. All right, so I'll check back in with you guys when we get to the gas station, kind of look this thing over. And uh, I'm going to tow it home, park in my driveway for today, and then bring it to the shop. So psh, over and out. <laughs> All right, so it is the next day after I picked this boat up. I got home pretty late last night. And I kind of want to just go through it with you guys and show you what we're working with here. Okay, so little backstory. I was posted about it on Facebook that I was trying to buy a boat and a buddy of mine said that he had a family friend who was trying to get rid of two boats. One being a 19 foot pro line, the other one being a 15 foot Boston Whaler. Both are really nice boats. And he didn't want the pro line, my buddy didn't. So I'm like, I'll take care of it. So this one needs a lot of work, it needs a lot of little stuff, but it ain't bad, dude, at all. So check this out. This is the 19 foot pro line. It was built in 2002. It's an all composite boat, meaning there's no wood at all in the whole hull. Like the whole thing's in really good shape. The guy lived right on the bay in Sarasota, or pretty in Longboat Key, and uh, the boat sat in the water for like years. And that's why it's all barnacly. And we're gonna have to figure out how to get all that shit off of there. And so the reason I think that my buddy looked at this and didn't want it is because of the, the patch that's here on the stern. You see, it's just a piece of fiberglass that he put over the gel coat, but it was to protect it because he was running it up on the uh, sandbars and stuff. And so I don't think there's even any damage under there. I really think that the gel coat looks pretty good. And so this boat, this you can see that it was sitting against a piling, like in the water, and it's all beat up right here. The gel coat's all beat up from the piling being here and just kind of knocking against this thing. And then this rub rail right here is all broken too, like from it, same thing, smashing into a piling when the waves were coming through and see it's all busted here. And I know that that's what my buddy looked at and he was like, I don't really think I want this thing, but I'm like, dude, I can fix all of this shit. That's nothing to me, you know, a little pookie right there. Some rusty freaking screws. It'll be really fun to try to get out. I don't think it's got a, an anchor. I'm gonna try to bend this back out though. You see how it's bent? The winch works, but if you can see the trailers, the this is the trailer that came with this boat, but it doesn't fit properly. Something's weird about it, so I'm gonna have to try to, I don't know if I'm gonna try to reset it or try to figure out, maybe the bunk position's not right, I don't know. But trailer's good, I mean it works. Everything's, nothing's really, really rusty. The wheels and tires are pretty good. So it trailered at home of like 25 miles, no problem, you know? But I mean, the boat's not in bad shape. If you look at it, it's got, all wow she and hit hudson my brother's neighbor literally gave us all of her old gel coat stuff so i'm gonna freaking fix all of this shit but if you look at it see there's some gel coat damage there too that's all the way through to the fiberglass that's got to be fixed see it's all cracked here and shit it's not that bad though that stuff's fixable all the through holes are, are metal on this boat which i really liked oh there's a plastic one right here but that's just a little transfer so i might be able to fix that if i need to Lots of little stuff, just lots of little stuff, you know, little plastic bits here and there. Props good. Motor hasn't ran in three years. 
but it's a it's a 125 saltwater series mercury they're really reliable uh and once once you get it going i mean i'm just gonna have to go through this thing and kind of figure out exactly what's happening look your steering cable's broken that's really what's going on i'm gonna get a whole new helm new steering and everything this side's not as bad with the rub rail it's all in pretty good shape here not too bad and then i think it's shrunk it's just shrunk from sun here so i'm gonna try to get a new one and just fix that whole deal i'm mainly worried about getting the hole clean though and then re recoating the bottom of it it's gonna need to do that whole anti-fouling so it just doesn't so it doesn't grow anything last time register was in 2019 so it hasn't been too long so let's hop up here and check this thing out got a little storage well down there overhaul dude the whole boat's not that bad though okay we have covers for everything too i'm gonna put them back on i got a cover for the whole console and you can see all the fuel switches all the switches are good like the gauges are good the compass works we got the key for it right here i just like how it, it everything's really in decent shape i need to lubricate everything and make sure that it all works this rod holder was left out but i'm gonna just put it right back in fix the hole that's in it right there put that all back together missing a drain down there which i need to fix that got to make sure the bilge works and all of that stuff fuel tank's kind of sketchy in this thing but i think that it's got a fiberglass fuel tank so we're going to clean it out he had all these cushions inside and you can tell i mean i mean look at the live wells dude they're all clean you know what i'm saying everything looks good nothing's really really ruined all the pads are pretty good the overall the boat's in good shape dude i don't even know if it has an anchor in here or not it doesn't we need to get an anchor that's a anchor rope but we need an anchor and then the anchor just sits right up there done this thing's not bad dude look it's got a little crack in the window but you can still see through it you know and overall i just think it's in good shape dude you know you can just fucking cruise on out like just like this I'm just really stoked. I'm really stoked to have this thing. And I think this is going to be a really, really fun project. And I just want to go ahead and get it set up and get it going, dude. I, I'm, I, I want to be on the water this thing in this thing in a couple of months. So I think, it's look, it's got a little radio down here. It's got your freaking, I don't know if that's a, what kind of radio. I don't think that's like an offshore radio. I just think that's something local so you can freaking tap in. I wonder what goes down here too. It's missing a couple of things, but it's nothing bad. It ain't nothing that's unfixable, you know? So, and then this is a live well back here too. Broken latch. Live well there. Overall, man, I just really like this boat. I think it's in good shape. 90% of the boats you get for you know, under a certain price range. Like, I had paid less than a thousand bucks for this thing. Most of the boats that you get in that price range are from the 80s or early 90s, and they're all wood. This one's 2002. And so it's actually, I mean, this thing's in damn good shape for what it is. You know, and for the price I paid for it, I'm willing to take the dive and go ahead and get this thing sorted out. So I'm going to end the episode here. And what I'm going to do is we're going to make a list of all the shit that we're going to do. And we're going to do this thing in a part series. First part is I'm going to try to clean the hole up and get that all going. And I want to see what's up with this motor and just kind of make sure it's not locked up and stuff. And I think that'll be another, that, that's going to be the next episode. We'll see what's wrong with the motor. Try to start getting the hole cleaned up, get all the barnacles and shit off there. Try to clean up, uh, re-recoat the bottom of it, and uh, yeah, see how she all goes. I'm really, I'm really excited though to get this thing cracking. So, uh, watch out for other videos. We do got a ZHP video dropping here soon. We got some other stuff. I've been trying to curate some other content rather than just auction stuff and just me buying and flipping things. And things have been going a little slow lately with the prices everywhere. Car prices are insane. It's just kind of hard to buy anything, but we're getting through it. So. Thank you guys very much for watching this far if you have already. If you haven't, checked out theauctiondog.com. We got all kind of merch and stuff, and you can keep up with our builds on there. I got this wagon pretty much done. It's laid out on the wheels and everything. I just need to get it aligned and finish polishing everything and then do the headliner, and that'll be the final episode on that car as well. So, got a lot of shit in the works, and I do appreciate you guys tagging along. Thank you very much, everybody. Hope you have a great rest of your day. Peace out, my dogs.